These sharks are the short tail nurse shark. They are a shark that only reaches 30 inches in length. They're found in the Western Indian Ocean along the east coast of Africa, all the way down through Madagascar. These sharks came to us from a facility in Canada that no longer needed them. So we had the opportunity to get the original breeding group, which is one male and two females. And they are one of the first, if not the first, breeding group of their species in North America. We have an egg that was ready to hatch. So in the ocean, these eggs hatch around 165 days, but in human care, they generally aren't able to come out on their own. We're not sure what that variable is that causes them to be able to come out in the ocean, but in human care, we find they have difficulty hatching. After looking at the egg with a light, we know that the shark is fully developed, all the yolk has been absorbed, and it's ready to come out. So we'll take that egg out of the tank and put it in a small container so we can work on it more easily. And we're gonna actually just peel open that egg case. It's not an egg like a bird's egg that's hard, like you have to crack it or something like that. Uh, they just kind of peel open. So we'll peel the top back and let that baby shark come out and it should be ready to, to survive on its own. This breeding group of one male and two females and their juveniles, this will be the first time that we've had them in-house at the aquarium here. We're gonna keep them in the back of house for now and allow the females to keep producing some eggs, raising those, hatching those, and letting them grow a little bit. Eventually we'll have enough eggs from our genetic group that we will put the adults on exhibit. Hopefully in Stingray Bay, we'll be able to show off the three adults that are, are producing all these eggs and have them on exhibit. There's been very little studies done about you know, their reproduction and their, their growth rates and the time it takes for the eggs to mature. This is an example of how we're able to, to not only display animals to educate the public, uh, but also we're able to further the science behind the animals that we display. For us to learn and, and for the industry to learn as a whole and further the knowledge that's out there about these animals.